And joining us with more on this is Chris Siachia, technology editor at thestreet.com. Chris, thanks so much for joining us this evening. Thanks, Michelle. So BlackBerry's largest shareholder, Fairfax, agreeing to buy up the company for $9 a share. Why? What's in this for Fairfax? Well, Fairfax already has a 10% stake in the company. CEO Prem Watsa, who is actually on BlackBerry's board, sees that there is strategic value in the company, not only for Fairfax, but also as Canada as well. BlackBerry is a national company. You know, Canada has a very strategic, important uh, investment in BlackBerry. And it, unlike other countries around the world, they actually have a nationalistic uh, pastime to, for BlackBerry. And they want to see this company succeed and not fail. Fairfax's skin in the game, granted, being 10% majority shareholder. But what is in it for shareholders? At $9 a share, given how the stock has tumbled, is this a relatively good deal? Is this the best that they can hope for? Yeah, it is. At this point, I mean, $9 a share isn't a lot, especially considering when you announced or when you take into the fact that the company was trading for $11 a share as early as last week. Then the company pre-announced second quarter earnings, saying that it was going to take down a huge inventory write-down because the Z10 and Q10 right. smartphones aren't selling well. So $9 a share is really the best they can hope for, even though it's not a great deal. How likely is it that this deal will go through with Fairfax? Talk of some rival bidders, offers would come in by November 4th. Any chance of somebody else stepping in? There's always been rumors that Lenovo would step in for BlackBerry. Lenovo has kind of been mentioned in the past. I don't see anything coming in the horizon. November 4th is a very relatively short time right. frame, just about 45 days or so. So a company like Lenovo or another strategic buyer would have to do a lot of due diligence in just a short period of time. And I ultimately don't think that they're going to. BlackBerry's biggest strong point has been the notion that it's more secure than other servers. Its market share went from 20% in 2009 to about 2.7% now. It's always been strong amongst the corporate and government markets. Does it still have this cachet, and can that be sold with any value? It still does have a strong cachet, especially when it comes to security. We've, you mentioned earlier that it had some security issues, but BlackBerry is still foreseen as the primary secure smartphone, especially when it comes to IT managers. Unfortunately, though, IT managers are increasingly seeing what's called BYOD, where consumers and workers bring their own smartphones to work, whether it be the iPhone or Android, and people are really relying on these phones and kind of pushing BlackBerry out. Chris, if this goes through, what can we expect from BlackBerry in the future five years down the line? Well, and will the handset live for those of us that love the keypad? For those people who do actually like the BlackBerry keypad, Five years is a very long time in technology. Unfortunately, I don't see BlackBerry remaining as it is right now five years down the line. I don't think the company is going to really cater to consumers anymore. They said that in their second quarter pre-announcement that they're really going to focus on the quote-unquote prosumer, which is really more about businesses. Mm -hmm. There's even a chance that the company stops making handsets altogether and just kind of becomes a security company and maybe also the much-loved BBM, BlackBerry Messenger. The company might sell that off. There's a chance that BlackBerry gets broken up into several different pieces, and we don't know BlackBerry as it is today. A sad end of an era on the horizon. Thank you so much. We're going to have to leave it there. Chris Siachia, technology editor at thestreet.com.